Today, cats are thought of more as pampered pets than as primal hunters. Unlike dogs, they resist training and behave more as if they are not your pet, but that you are theirs. Nevertheless, the bond between cats and humans has proven to be stronger and more astounding than previously thought, especially when examining their eerie ability to track down their human owners across hundreds of miles. There was this case in 1949. The cat's name was Clementine Jones. The family moved from Western New York to Denver. They couldn't take the cat with them. They left the cat with some friends, and they got a call a while later that the cat had disappeared. Four months later, this cat showed up at their door. It was their cat. That's a 1,600-mile commute for that cat. 1,600 miles in four months? It seems nothing short of miraculous. And yet, there have long been stories of cats traversing vast distances, and we don't know how they do it. When I think of a story where a cat has traveled an incredible distance in order to go from point A to point B, lots of questions come to mind for me as a scientist. Is there a scent trail, essentially, that they're following that allows them to navigate that space? And do they have that ability to create that mental map? We know cats potentially have other types of navigational capacities, too, that we don't even know about that sort of harken back to their ancient ancestors who maybe need to roam great distances in order to hunt, for example, and home their way back to their den. Some people posit that cats are somehow tuned into the electromagnetic field of the Earth that birds use for navigation. So there are all sorts of theories. The magnetism one's the most popular, but that can't explain it. If you were given a compass and taken to a place you'd never been before, the compass would tell you where north was, but it wouldn't tell you where home was. So homing animals, including this cat, require more than a magnetic or compass sense. We think the animal is using their ESP to trail where the family actually went to. That's called Psy trailing. Psy is the catch-all term we use for any psychic experience. Psy trailing typically happens where there's an animal that has a real close connection with the family and it's possible that the animal saw the path in front of her and followed that path. There's a lot of unknowns around cats. Is there a psychic connection that exists between cats and their owners, and there's a, a magnetism that's there that's drawing that cat in? It's entirely possible. Until cats can talk to us themselves, we may never know exactly what lies behind their eyes. Perhaps it's time to rethink our place in the natural order of things.